So guys, I got to do something crazy this year and fulfill a childhood dream that I've had for a long time, which is to play at a theme park, which is, man, what? And the theme park is Universal Studios, which, what? But before I get too far into the story, let me tell you how this all happened. I have a friend and his name is Ray, and he is a tour manager, drummer, and MD. So at the beginning of this year, Ray reached out to me needing a bass player for a one-off, which if you don't know what one-off means, all that means is just a single show. It's not a tour, it's not a paid, a full-time position or anything like that. It's just a one show and done. Meanwhile, not knowing that we'll be playing at Universal Studios. We're here. <laughs> So after arriving in Orlando, we jumped in the van and headed to our hotel to check in and drop off some stuff. Then right after that, we headed straight to Universal to get our stuff settled in to our green room. What was really cool is once we pulled in and got through security, we were held up by a Minions float that was fl riding in front of us minions. on our way to the green room. What? Whoa! You hurt you hurt. The memes. Oh, okay. Okay. So when it comes to playing at different venues, different uh, places, or even different tours, sometimes your green room is an actual room in a venue, but when you're playing at live events like festivals or anything like that, most times you get at just like a normal mobile home as a green room that's stocked with you know snacks and all the things that are on the artist's rider, uh, which is what we had here at Universal. So what is what are these? They are pink bands. And pretty Ooh. much grants you access anywhere in the park. Backstage, <laughs> under the coasters. <laughs> um, you could take over someone's job for them. <laughs> you get their paycheck as well? You get their paycheck. So today oh. is Friday, so it is payday. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So we actually are going <laughs> to... It's like it actually is payday. <laughs> <laughs> so where they had us is like pretty much right near the Transformers ride and they had a uh, the front of house tent right in front of a diner that's right next to it. Then the stage was right up against the lake that they have within the park. And this leads me to one of the most memorable things I think I've ever had happen at a gig, which is a private tour of Universal Studios. With this private tour, you have a guide, which our guide was Jacob and a colleague of his, that took us around to any ride that we wanted to go on, tell us history about it, secret things about the park that you never heard of, and you get to ride the rides as many times as you want in the time that you have that day. Well, the new roller coasters over in that area. We've got uh, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. It's just incredible. Yeah. That one is uh, a lot of fun, and then even more intense than that one. Right next to it in Jurassic Park land, we've got our uh, Velocicoaster. Yes, I love the Velocicoaster. Is that one? Are you, are you guys fans of roller coasters? We're yeah. thrilled so, to all of us. Is it just the five of us? Just us. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So 
So what was super cool is that we got to go through back doors and alleyways and different interests and ways of getting to the front of the line at all these places because our time was so limited. I've been to Universal a few times and it usually takes me an entire day to ride just maybe like four or five roller coasters. We were able to ride every major roller coaster in the park by three. Sometimes even two or three times we rode some of these, which was really, really insane. So after the private tour of the park, we had to catch ourselves and get back into work mode and do our sound check. For this concert, I'm playing through a MPEG 810 SVT Classic, and I was going through uh, my new DI, the Ready Bass DI. Yep. Okay, you got that acoustic sonic, all right. Bro, I did not realize you were really gonna use an acoustic sonic. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. It's everything. It's not only an acoustic, it's also an electric, and you can blend the two. Oh, that's amazing. So after sound check, we went into pre-show and just got ourselves ready for the concert. Hey, you first, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We out there. Doing your warm-ups? Yeah. What does this do for your hands? So, I don't know, it's just like my, these three fingers, the uh -huh. main guys that are like guys, moving the guys. sticks, you know? Yeah. Starting lineup so right like, here. <laughs> Starting lineup? Starting lineup. Starting lineup. These are the bench guys. Um, <laughs> it's reminding them like, hey, you can move, you can do this. <laughs> So in pre-show mode, we're on side stage getting ready to go up, getting our wireless packs or any kind of headphones or monitoring set up, tuning our instruments, and getting ready for the start of the concert. Let's do it. I was able to get a few little clips of us playing, but I'm not gonna play a lot of it because I don't wanna, I wanna try to avoid a copyright strike on this video. If you wanna watch more clips or the full clips, feel free to go check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below where you can see even more behind the stage access of this theme park gig. Well, I hope this video helped you guys in some kind of way when it comes to your career as a musician. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.